What's going on, my fellow Dappeners? Welcome to yet another solo show with Become a Fearless Father. Um, quickly wanted to get to you, and I noticed just now I forgot to share my link so you guys can download my challenges. I will put that later. What's up, buddy? Yeah. You broke it. All right. Let me, uh, I, get, I got interrupted real quick. Let me see if I can have enough skills for this. There you go, buddy. Ta da. What'd you say? Yes, Anita? Yes, yes. Yeah, very good. All right, anyway, that's done. So um, we were this morning in the in the playground, and I noticed something I thought I shared. I thought it was a pretty cool story. So my kids were some other kids. I think there were like five kids that are playing with the ball. And at one point, one kicks the ball. Actually, no, not just one. I think it was my, my son. He kicks the ball way up high, and it doesn't come down. It's It gets stuck in a tree. So I see it happening, and my first reaction was I wanted to get up, right? And because I know there was also someone with a bigger, heavier ball, and I get it and throw it and get the ball out. Okay. I'll fix it later. Don't put your fingers in there. Okay? Okay, good. Thank you. And... <laughs> Today is busy. It's summertime, so people, you're gonna have to get used to my kids coming in. Um, I'm lucky they don't want to sit on my lap and and join the life because it's hot. Um, so anyway, that said, however, I controlled myself and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna just watch and take a look at what they're gonna do, right? So I sat down and I just looked. So first, funny thing, and you know, they looked at the ball a little bit, and then you know, their creativity started going. So um, one of them started kicking the tree, right? Oh, of course. Ow, and then, well, not much happening. Then well, um, I think it was my son that tried to climb the tree, right? Now my kids are young, so there's no way they can climb that tree. Okay, that didn't work. So then one of them start, you know, hey, why don't I grab the tree and see if I can shake it? Okay, that's a big tree, so that wasn't happening either. And meanwhile, I'm just sitting there enjoying myself, watching like, okay, what, what, what's, what's going to come up next, right? What great idea they're going to have next to get that ball out of the tree, right? And then the kid that had the ball, whose ball it is, he went to his granddad and um, his grandmother went with him to get the ball out. Of course, she was looking and there was no way that she was going to do it. So in the end... They got the granddad, and the granddad started throwing the heavy ball, like what I had straight away in my, in my thoughts. And after a couple of tries, he got the ball out. So that made me think. It's like, okay, cool. You see, I helped them use their own brain, use their own creativity to get the ball out. Now, of course, they had to ask for help, and that's okay as well, right? Because we, as, as, as dads, we're so afraid to ask for help. So that was one lesson that... No, 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 yeah, leave it, daddy will do it, okay, sweet, yeah, vale, perfecto, ah, vale, no pasa nada, papa le ha dado la regla, anyway, so, that's one lesson, right, you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help, the other lesson that it, it teaches me as a dad is that I need to give my kids the opportunity to solve their own problems, to solve their own challenges. As parents, as dads, we are so eager to help our kids right away. He falls, we want to run there, make sure that he's okay, and pick him up and make sure he, he's no, he has no pain, etc. right? And they can't figure something out. We immediately want to get there and help them and find it and, and do it and solve it, make sure that they don't have to struggle, right? And it's, it's natural, it's normal. However, is it beneficial for the growth of our kids? I don't think so, right? Because if I would have gotten up right away, would have got the ball and, and tried opportunities to get out the ball right away, they wouldn't have used their own brain to come up with, and there you go, Nadia, thank you, I appreciate that. What's up, Christopher? So, and immediately help them, right? I got to say hi, Nadia wrote too much. <laughs> um, and immediately help them, then I would have taken away the possibility for them to start using their own head, to start using their own creativity to come up with solutions, right? Or to, to find out, okay, I hurt myself, what can I do next? Or I lost my toy, what can I do next? Or, 
you know, I climbed up this, I can't get down. What do I do next? However, if we help them from the beginning straight away, every single time like that, what's going to happen? Well, the next time they're going to climb up something and they can't get down, the first thing they're going to do is, daddy, daddy, daddy. And that's great. I mean, I'm happy to help and I'm glad they asked for me. But again, am I always going to be here? No, I'm not. So in my opinion, you, know, you should try and teach your kids as soon as possible to come up with own ideas so they become creative. And if in the end they come to you and they ask you for help, of course you're going to help them. If you've seen that your kids have tried enough on their own to figure it out, then of course you're going to help, right? And that's okay, but they must figure it out on their own. So many times my oldest one, he's six, he comes to me and he's like, Daddy, my little brother lost this. I'm like, okay, why are you telling me? Shouldn't be you, you know, being there and trying to look for it with him, right? Well, what are your options? No, 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 you have to come. You have to look for it. Do I, I don't have to look for it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Christopher. <laughs> and um, I, I, don't, I don't have to look for that at all, right? Now, if I know that he has looked for it for a while, I will step up and start looking for it. But I'm not going to do that straight from the bat. That'd be silly, right? That just means next time he lost something, he's going to be like, ah, dad's going to look for it. Mom is going to look for it. It's okay. And just sit back. So all I'm trying to share with you is, you know, give your kids the opportunity to come up with a solution. Give your kids the opportunity to get up on their own when they've fallen down and to find out uh, the best way how to get down and give them that opportunity because you'll be very surprised with some of the creativity that they will come up with that you wouldn't have thought of, right? So one of my kids was stuck the other day in one of those playground castle things. And I was looking just at first, like, okay, how is he gonna get down? He's just gonna just start crying. Cause you, of course you don't want to get really crying and get all emotional, like too emotional, right? So I'm just looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, all right, what you gonna do? And I thought he's just going to walk to the other end and then come down through the stairs. Instead of doing that, he grabbed one of the ropes, pushed himself through a hole that was there, hung from it, and then just slowly dropped himself to the floor. I was like, dude, I would have never come up with that. And now he finds himself a new thing to play with. So now he goes up again. He just does it automatically because it was fun, right? Third time he hurt his back, though. But, hey, you know, <laughs> what are we going to do, right? They're still kids. So give your kid the opportunity to be creative, to use their own brain. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. I forgot the link. I'm so sorry. Um, it will be there again tomorrow. It's my link to join my messenger bot. So you will receive a message when I go live on my live interviews and also an opportunity to get my three free step guide or my free three step guide. Apologies. <laughs> How to overcome your current and most pressing challenges every time um, when, you, when it comes up. All right. Thanks again. I will be live again in about 22 minutes. I got Gabriel Colignon, if I pronounce that correctly, but he's going to tell me that later on the show. I'm going to be interviewing him. It's going to be fantastic. And um, so I'll see you there. Take care, everybody, and have a fantastic day. Enjoy. Bye-bye.